Here we go. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. Well, my name is Kasea Stoyama of JPNAP. And today, I would like to talk about an uh, un ever, uh, availability model of exchange point and the JPNAP case studies. Well, unfortunately, uh, uh, on the web pages, the title is only an uh, described availability model. So maybe it is very hard for you to imagine what kind of talk I would like to do. But um, today, I would like to talk about availability of the exchange point. Okay. And first, oh, I'd like to briefly introduce the J what the JPNAP is. Okay? The JPNAP is the largest, one of the largest exchange points in Japan, and, oh, it, which is provided you know, since 2001. The current, we have three exchange points in Japan. We have the one, oh, the JPNAP Tokyo 1, and JPNAP Tokyo 2, and JPNAP Osaka. And these three exchange points are not interconnected oh, between them, among them. Uh, so I mean that um, they are independent systems. And uh, Tokyo and Osaka are approximately uh, 400 miles away. So the, if the, there is an, a big earthquake in the Tokyo area, uh, the providers can back up their traffic to the Osaka area. Okay? And also we built uh, on one more site in Tokyo, the Tokyo 2. The Tokyo 1 and two, Tokyo 2 are uh, on 10 miles away. Uh, but then, oh, as you know, the traffic in, internet traffic in Japan is concentrated in the Tokyo area. So oh, we have to hedge the risk of such a or the terror or a power failure. So we built another site uh, oh, in the Tokyo area, so Tokyo 2. Okay? And the JPNAP carries a lot of traffic. Uh, the currently uh, at the peak, 146 uh, 46 gig. And uh, this is the... Uh, Oh, the fourth largest uh, all over the world. The top three is an oh, Amos IX and Dekix and uh, Lynx. Those are the three big guys. And the next is in JP now. Okay. So let's go on to the, oh, the availability model of the oh, exchange point. So the why availability? Oh, because um, these days, oh, as you know, the internet becomes an uh, oh, infrastructure of the of our society. So oh, the, these days, the people and uh, oh, AS, uh, application service provider or content provider uh, requires a very high level availability, uh, stability, and or uh, reliability. So availability is uh, important for uh, also an exchange point. Okay. So uh, first, I would like to propose the very simple but the strict model of the uh, availability about an exchange point. Okay. Oh, this configuration and the abstract configuration is uh, the you know, typical one. Because, uh, so oh, there is an exchange point network which consists of uh, oh, multiple uh, Ethernet switches or some kind of switches and linked together. So this uh, is. Uh, makes an, oh, the switching cloud. And ISPs connect their routers to this oh, switching cloud. So this one, this connection uh, is in <coughs> uh, exchange point switches and the router connection, okay? So there is a demarcation point uh, between them, the switch, uh, exchange point network and, a bit, and oh, ISPs routers. So between here, uh, between this, it's uh, responsible for our uh, exchange point. So from this perspective, I would like to define the simple uh, availability model. Okay. So the definition is uh, the exchange point is available if no packet loss and no link failure in the switching crowd and all ports for the customers uh, are up and running. Uh, I like to define this, the normal case isn't oh, available, okay? So <coughs> let's imagine uh, not available cases. And the one uh, typical one is an, oh, the packet loss or link down in a switching cloud. Of course, our oh, exchange point 
should be regarded as a big pie for all the customers with enough uh, capacity and bandwidth. So in this crowd, uh, we have to, uh, the exchange point provider have to maintain no packet loss and no link failure. Such kind of state is very important. So, okay. So if there is um, some packet loss or link down in here, so this network uh, defined as not uh, available. And uh, oh, sometimes the oh, ISPs oh, push their traffic into a uh, uh, switching cloud, but then sometimes they are put too many uh, packets to this one. And this one uh, is an, uh, responsible for a provider site, so this one is not, a, uh, not, not an, uh, defined as an unavailable, okay? only at this side. Okay. And the second part is an, uh, one port is down for a customer. Uh, this case is uh, defined as an unavailable. Uh, if the, uh, in case that the, uh, the port for ISPB is down, that is not affected to a peer with others. But then the potentially ISPB will have a, a BGP connection or in the future or some kind of things. So only a one port is down. is also not an unavailable. So the exchange point provider should maintain all the port is up and running. So, okay, so this is a very, I think that the strict, simple but a strict model. So uh, exchange point provider should maintain exchange point network itself is in oh, no packet loss or no link failure, and also all the ports are up and running. And the next, I would like to uh, talk about the uh, JPNAP technology to improve availability. Okay. And the first step is in, uh, using the network itself uh, is uh, uh, are redundant, okay? So not only the switching network, but we add the redundant network. And also we provide uh, the main port and backup port to our customers, all the customers, okay? And uh, inside a uh, network, uh, we are using uh, some kind of redundant protocols uh, to uh, to maintain that uh, this network is available. Okay. And the next technology is an optical switch for customer port. Okay. Well, this optical switch uh, cha uh, changes from main port to backup port instantaneously. Instantaneously means an, uh, tens of milliseconds. This optical switch always uh, watching the light from the ether switch to the, to the customer end. And if the light is going down, the optical switch uh, soon change the port to the backup side. And it is done in a tens of milliseconds. And this means oh, the most routers do not sense link down and therefore Oh, the BGP sessions are not down. Oh, this feature is very important for the providers, I think. Because uh, <coughs> if the uh, link down is uh, sensed and the BGP session is down, the router, uh, the router uh, starts to recalculate the best route, best path and best route again. And if after that, uh, they recovered the, this one. Yeah, the routers uh, again uh, recovered to that this path is the best. So, th if the BZP session uh, not down, so if if, if the BZP session is not down, such an uh, recalculation of the route it will not occur. So, the providers are. Uh, use this 
exchange point network is uh, very uh, uh, stable. Okay? And we also use this optical switch uh, when we are doing the maintenance work. So when we would like to uh, maintain main maintenance work on the switch, we can easily back up uh, change. We can easily change to the backup port, and the switch. Uh, w we can easily uh, maintain the switch during the uh, the traffic is backing up. Okay. After the maintenance, we will uh, recover to the main path. Okay. So. I would like to oh, use and, oh, the JPNAP's uh, real data, and uh, this technology is ef uh, how effective this technology is. Okay. Oh, this list is an, oh, our troubles and maintenance works uh, at the to JPNAP Tokyo One uh, from June 2007 to May 2008. So oh, the exactly one year. So there are oh, 18 events during this year, and the and the green one shows that the maintenance work. Okay, and <coughs> yellow one shows an, a switch trouble, switch or switch network trouble, and red one is a human error. We made a, sometimes we made a oh, oper misoperation, yeah. So this uh, during this year, we have 18 events of uh, oh, troubles and maintenance and uh, misoperations. Okay. So next, I would like to use this data and how effective such those and oh, technology is. Uh, to improve the availability. Okay. So, and the first, focusing on the maintenance work. Well, usually, uh, the maintenance work is uh, done uh, to, uh, for this uh, time period, okay? And if we had, uh, if we did not have a redundant network, uh, IX service would not be available during the maintenance window. So, yeah, assuming this, and we, I calculated the total hour of the maintenance work was uh, 26 hours and 34 minutes. So if we, uh, if we did not have a redundant network, these times are equal to the downtime. Okay. But then we have a redundant network. So, uh, redundant network and uh, our main and backup port of, for all the customers. So, when we do a maintenance, <coughs> uh, the customer's connection to a main port to remove and insert the backup switches, it may take an, uh, uh, 15 seconds uh, at, uh, at, at least. So, First, uh, main to backup, and after the maintenance, backup to main. Uh, it will take an, uh, 30 seconds. Uh, I, 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 like, I estimated it would be a uh, 30 second. So, during this maintenance work, the impact is uh, approximately uh, uh, there's a 10 customer, and this time in the 20 customers. So for each customers are 30 seconds. So we have to, uh, uh, the network would be unavailable during uh, the five minutes. In this, case, uh, in this case, 10 minutes, okay? So uh, if, we, if the switching network was redundant, but then there is no uh, optical switches, the downtime would be uh, 62 minutes and 30 seconds. But then, as I told, we had a uh, redundant network, also a uh, optical switch for, uh, for customers, for, I mean the for uh, ISPs. So uh, the downtime, uh, the 
Optical switches uh, will change the main port to backup port in a tens of milliseconds. So for this time, approximately um, at most one second is in downtime. And uh, this one is approximately uh, two seconds. So accumulate, uh, summarize these, some of these times, approximately uh, 15 seconds is the real downtime. So how much the availability differs? Okay. Focusing on this maintenance work, oh, the downtime, the first case, uh, if we had not the redundant network uh, nor uh, optical network, uh, the downtime is 26 hours approximately. And uh, uh, downtime, the ratio is in 0.30%. Uh, from the availability side, 99.7%. But if we had a <coughs> redundant network, at the time, uh, in the case, the 16 minutes, it uh, would be the downtime. But uh, oh, the currently, the JPNAP uh, using the, the redundant network, also uh, optical switches, so the downtime is approximately uh, oh, 15 seconds per year. So the downtime is 0 0.00047, and the availability would be this one. So this data shows that the uh, oh, redundant network and the uh, uh, optical switches are very effective to increase the uh, availability. Okay. And as I told, the optical switches are always watching the <coughs> uh, light from the switch, Ethernet switches. Okay. So next, uh, I would like to focus on the human error. This case. Uh, we mistakenly uh, put uh, the power off of the some transmission device between here. And fortunately, the optical switch detects the failure and instantaneously uh, change to the backup port. So the, this trouble does not affect our customers' uh, network. But then if we take the best scenario, oh, probably it was about um, 30 seconds to notice the mistake and recover it. Oh, I guess, uh, in this case, the operator is um, oh, just in front of the, oh, the transmission device, so they soon noticed oh, the, uh, their f uh, the failure, the mistake. So it may uh, recover approximately 30 seconds. Okay. But then, actually, slowly, as I told, uh, the optical switch changed to the backup port, so there would be an approximately one second, uh, much more or less than tens of milliseconds, is affected to the customers. Okay. So, the totally, uh, Availability of the Tokyo uh, JPNAP Tokyo One during this year was an approximately a 99.976 uh, percent, and uh, downtime is was in two hours and seven minutes, and this seems to be uh, too long, yeah, and and uh, this is uh, according to the definition of the mo of my availability model, uh, which is very s simple but strict. And uh, this case, uh, this case, is um, it took a long time because this failure is an. Oh, it was very difficult to oh, determine that the uh, oh, customer side is wrong or the JPNAP, the our side is wrong, and also we have we had to negotiate with our customers to repair or uh, to take some oh, steps. Uh, to recover the uh, failure. So that is a uh, problem to be uh, solved next time. But then please take a look at uh, the, these uh, impact, impact side. From the impact side, the backbone network of, the, of our switches, uh, the failure is an approximately uh, 
64 seconds per year. So almost all the, our customers can be, uh, uh, can be used, our network, all, all the time. And it would, uh, the availability is was in 99.9998%. So quite long, uh, I think. So to summarize, I presented a very strict but um, a very simple but strict availability model exchange point. And using the model, I calculated the uh, JPNAP availability. And uh, avail availability can be uh, significantly improved by uh, redundant switch network and optical switches. Thank you very much.